Miles McLean was a gentleman born with a commoner scorn for the lives of such gentlemen. Born in Fair Guinea under Brian the Haldane, distant kin to the Highlander kings. But Miles McLean was a dare bard, and life could be hard for one born Dorini. So he hide to Scarborough in the realm of Queen Anne, always looking for new songs to sing. And he sang grand songs in the courts for the gents and their ladies. All the pubs and the backwater dives, they all knew him by name. But the mums in the villages trusted him with their babies. And they gave him a name. For the greetings he gave This gentleman name Bear Hugger McLean In the evenings he'd gather the children around From all over town they would come for the stories Of dragons and brave knights and fat circus clowns Bittersweet tales of the fae As the shadows would deepen He belt out a song And they'd all sing along In a great rattling chorus Then he'd reach for his bow And he'd throw himself into the magic The fiddle to play And he sang in the winter time or he sang in ah. <laughs> and he sang in the Christmas Mass for the sweet gentle baby and he'd sing at Easter tide for the crucified God but he'd fiddle the Beltane dance for the Lord and the Lady. See, he played for the love of the music alone. For that was the domain of their Hugger McLean. Now all of the ladies, they knew Miles McLean with his gray beard and mane and his silver tongue ways. But few of them noticed the age and the pain in the back of his fiery black eyes. And none were around when he drifted to sleep and could no longer keep all his demons from hounding him. of a girl that was so far away and the way she had felt when he lied and he dreamed of a far eastern land and a beautiful woman and he dreamed of a home and a family he'd never see again. And he dreamed of a normal life somewhere deep in the highlands. But they only were dreams and they ended with streams. Of the tears none could see to the shame of Bear Hugger McLean. Now Miles McLean disappeared from the fair, and a few of them there remarked on his passing. Some say he walked out with his fiddle in hand on the arms of a queen of the sheep.
And they reckoned that someday he'd be back again. And if he was then, then he'd be so much welcome. But none of them knew the truth, for he held the secret as tight as could be. But he sang his songs in the forest for all the young children. And he told them that sooner or later he'd be back again. And they heard him exclaim as he faded among them. computer save holodeck program their hugger McLean <laughs> it would appear you got the nerd vote now <laughs>